Hey, Tough Guys, David here. Have you ever heard of the Curiosity Box? Well, if you haven't, I hope you stay tuned for this video because we're gonna tell you all about it. So if you're not aware, Curiosity Box is a quarterly subscription box that gives you science-based content inside that's perfectly curated by Mel Science and Vsauce, a partnership. If you've been on YouTube at all in your life, you've probably seen Michael Stevens with Vsauce and the whole Vsauce crew. They put together these Curiosity Boxes a few years ago, and we've actually done a review on the channel before. I'll put a link somewhere up here at the top for you to check out that previous review. But in this episode, we're just gonna be talking about the entire thing as a whole, and I wanna share with you why I think it's so important. Now you may be wondering, why am I standing in a forest? Well, this is actually the forest that's in the backside of our new property. We are in the process of building our house. And since this is our place to be creative and be curious, I thought, what a better place than to bring you out here with me to show off what comes inside the Curiosity Box. So in this video, we are covering what comes in the fall and summer boxes of 2024. And specifically, I wanna cover the t-shirts first. In the fall box, you get this really cool If Uranus Was a Black Hole t-shirt. See how YouTube likes that one. It should at least spark some conversations for you. And in the summer box, you actually get this shirt. It's the Empirical Knot. It goes hand in hand with one of the books that actually comes in the summer box. So that's where we're gonna start. Each box will include a curiosity magazine, which is a pamphlet to help you learn all about the contents that come inside. Why Not is the book that is included in the summer box, and it includes a little piece of string so that you can practice all 60 of the knots with nice, vivid illustrations for you to follow. They also include this sticker sheet of prime knots for you, and you have a little inky sticker there at the bottom as well. Next up is the Shadow Alphabet Puzzle. Now this includes 67 total shapes, and the trick is, when you arrange them the correct way, then you get to see the alphabet, but sort of in shadow form. This is a challenging puzzle, definitely set aside some time to go through the whole thing, and it took us quite a bit to actually get it all the way done. I think you'll enjoy this, especially if you're doing this with your family. Next up in this box, you got Picture Pie, which was basically an assisted drawing kit. It includes these little discs that have grooves cut into them, as well as some instructions, and me and my daughter decided to tackle this one together. You basically set the disc on top of a piece of paper. We use the cardboard backer to help hold it down with the little included pin. And then you turn the disc to align with a mark that you make at the front so that you can do one, two, three, etc. as you go. And it basically tells you which shape to color in as you turn the disc. And if you do everything correctly, then you get a really fun result at the end. Now, spoiler alert, if you don't wanna see what these look like, then you might wanna fast forward or turn away for the next few seconds. Disc number two was the kangaroo. Number three was Michael's face from Vsauce. Number one was ink from the Curiosity Box, and I'll save number four as a secret for you. Now next up you have this Martian soil simulant. So it's 50 grams of MGS1, AKA Martian soil. This is a simulant product to allow you to basically do experiments with what would be Martian soil. We didn't do any experiments yet with this, but we have some ideas to show off in future videos and maybe see if we can get something to grow with this like in a famous movie you may have seen. So I wanted to share a personal note about why I think Curiosity Box is such a great resource. And for me, we homeschool our kids. So they are in a homeschool co-op, which is a group of other kids that also are homeschooled. And what we've managed to do is integrate the Curiosity Box directly into their curriculum. So the science toys, the puzzles, the experiments, all the fun stuff that comes in the box, we get to help use that to feed their curiosity and their creativity and their drive to learn about science. So for us on a personal level, these things have been incredibly important to not only our kids learning, but to keeping me still curious. Anyways, I just wanted to share that because I thought maybe there's some other people out there in a similar situation to us and you're on the fence about how useful this sort of product would be to you and I think you should definitely consider giving it a try. 
Moving on now to the fall box. In this one, you get the same Curiosity magazine. It's not the exact same one from the summer. This one, of course, covers what comes in the fall box. But again, you have a brief overview at the beginning and then a full detailed list of what's inside later on in the magazine. Now you get a sticker sheet with this one as well with a little bit of preview for the book that's included as well as the ink sticker. And speaking of the book, it is a new edition of Euclid's Elements. This is the most used mathematical textbook in human history. This is a revised edition of the original 1847 volume illustrated by Oliver Byrne. And this actually has some interesting updates that are specifically curated for you by Michael. So definitely take a look. Next up is the EDC multi-tool, which is everyday carry. If you're not familiar with that term, this is a multi-tool that is supposed to be sort of useless in a traditional sense, but it, you can definitely have some good fun with it and some good laughs. For example, there is a average pinky length that you can use to measure things, or you can see how, you know, your pinky stacks up against others. And then there is a kangaroo safety gauge, which we don't have any kangaroos, but we have our dog Hank. He kind of looks like a small kangaroo, so not very aggressive though. I think even if he's at the correct safe distance, I think we're still gonna be safe either way. Of course, every multi-tool needs a good thermometer. So you'll get a laugh out of that one, as well as a list of expired dead languages that you can use to say hello and a Earth Schwarzschild's radius, which happens to be about the size of the sun. Anyways, this everyday carry multi-tool is definitely gonna go into my wallet. It's a good conversation starter, if nothing else. Next up is the Ambigram Escape Puzzle. Now, this one has a coin that is a Curiosity Box exclusive. It's basically designed to give you an edge in a coin flip, but the catch is, in order to use the coin, you've gotta figure out how to get it out this little puzzle. Now admittedly it wasn't me that solved this one, my son actually figured it out and same as with the puzzle before, if you want to avoid any spoilers then skip ahead of the next part. So what you want to do in order to free the coin is hold this little plastic container with the coin inside upside down so that the beads fall and then drop it on the surface and basically the coin just pops out of the front. And you can see there it says heads or tails depending on which way you look at the coin so you're always going to be right. Next, you've got the body deck. This is, I think, my favorite thing overall. It's a high quality translucent playing card deck. You would think it might not be good for playing poker or other card games, but it's actually pretty cool because on the backside, it hides what card you have. The camera doesn't fully do it justice. You really do get a nice 3D effect when looking at the deck from the front or from the rear side. And I do think just in general, it's gonna be really fun to play with. And if you do have a magician in your family, this might really raise the ante on any tricks that they're bringing to the table for you. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that if you were on the fence about a curiosity box, this video helped push you in the right direction so that you'll try it out for yourself and for your family. As always, I'll have links down in the description. And in this case, we'll have some that can help you save some money, but at the same time help support our channel. So please use those links if you're interested in purchasing your own Curiosity Box. Also, let us know down in the comments if you have any questions or if there's something in particular that you'd like us to review next, let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.